We have arrived now at Iverstead and today we are going to speak with the Greybeards on High Rovka. But first we need to climb up that mountain. And let's see what we're gonna find on this mountain. Like I've heard rumors that it can be a bit dangerous going up there. And there might even be some creatures that could attack us. I wonder what happened to that house. Right, so somewhere there are the stairs. And holy shit, this will be a long climb. Like, look at this. This is a very high mountain. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. Why not? Isn't safe. It's not safe? Yeah, I heard rumors too. Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could pass him through on your way. Anything you can tell me about High Rafka? I've been in many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the being masters of Athum. They could kill you by uttering a single word. Holy shit, they're OP. Not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. What types of deliveries do you make to High Rafka? Most food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. Dried fish. Keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Mm. Trouble is, my you are kind. What they used to be. Kind so. Climbing the 7,000 steps. 7,000 steps. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Okay, sounds easy. Anything I should watch out uh, for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever. So there are some creatures that could attack us. Problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Be all right, let's go. Oh, what is this? Um, is this what I think it is? There's already a skull of someone. Like this doesn't make me feel too safe going up there, right? Like holy shit. What's this? Edge tablet. Before the birth of man, the dragons ruled all Mandas. Their word was the voice and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Wow. Yeah, the voice is very OP. I want an Elder Scroll 6. What are we gonna be there? We're gonna we're gonna not gonna be Dragonborn, but maybe something else that's OP. Oh no. <laughs> Execution style. What's funny sometimes they actually have gold with them. I'm like wondering how wolves can carry gold. Maybe it's in their belly or something. Maybe they accidentally swallowed it. You know what would be funny? It's called 7,000 steps. What if there is actually someone that like records this and actually counts this or something? Like, imagine, like, I, I'm like wondering if those are like really 7,000 steps and if someone counted this. Yeah, this must have been a hard job for the devs to make sure that they really placed down 7,000 steps. There's so many goats here. Wow. We're not that high yet, but we already have like a, a really good view. Like, look at this. Here we can see Iverstead. Somewhere over there is the, the rift, right? Like Riften. Oh, I can't wait till we get to Riften. There's someone. Bandit? No. Keep an yeah. Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovakin? I did. <laughs> you did? Strange days. When Strange the days, did yeah. That. I wonder what it means. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Yeah, and have something f to, to eat. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. 
Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. Like we are about to. Make conversation. Oh, I like Lydia's backpack. All right. It's actually nice that that we got those with the anniversary edition. Like I had a mod before that also had backpacks, but I think this one has a better design. Like I like the look more. Men were born and spread over the face of Mandus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Holy shit, they were like oppressed or something. Like men had no voice, like the, the way this sentence sounds. Okay, now it's getting snowier. Oh, I heard something. It's also quick save more often, just in case. But this one is stronger. But that was the strongest wolf I fought yet. Ice wolf pelt, let's take this one. Like, I really miss games like Skyrim these days. I thought New World would give me this kind of feeling. And it did give me this, like, a little bit. But I don't know too many new games that can give you this kind of great exploration feeling. Wow. Alright. Let's not waste time and get up there. Oh, there's another wolf. How many wolves are here? Holy shit. Oh, that's a normal one. <laughs> Do you guys think we should stick to the great axe or switch to a sword? Because the sword is a bit faster, right? But it will deal less damage. But I'm an orc. I think an orc should have like an axe or something, right? Like traditionally, usually in, in fantasy games, orcs fight with axes, so... So many goats today. Wait, what's in there? Oh, we could just be evil and steal this, right? But let's not do this. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with the dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Wow. This is literally the story, by the way, of the dragon wars. I think there's even like a whole book in game that we can find, right? That explains like what happened during the Dragon Wars and stuff. Where like the Nord fought against the dragons. And with like those cultists. Like those those tombs we sometimes encounter there, they used to be also places for, for worship, right? Of the dragons and stuff. Like the law is so fascinating. Whoa, she takes out of damage. Yo, that's an ice wolf. We nearly lost uh, Lydia there. Holy shit. Be careful, Lydia. Don't go uh, fighting stuff on your own. You could die. There are some followers that are immortal, but Lydia is not immortal. She can die. I remember like once on, on, a, on a playthrough, I actually lost Lydia. Like she died to someone. I think Jizago is immortal, right? From 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 Winterhold. Yeah, we could also go to the Mage's Guild, even though we are not a mage, but just to recruit someone as a follower. I'm wondering who this mysterious person is. She's wearing a freaking crown as well. Did you hear them say Dovakin? It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Wow, is she slow? She was already at almost Iverstead. And we just started walking and she just got... Okay. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Walking the steps. Meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Until next time. Kain called on Parthunax. Who pitied men. Together they thought men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged. Dragon against tongue. Yeah, that's the book I'm talking about. Dragon uh, was. 
Hawthorne next. He's a good dragon. Um, let's do a normal safe now. We're very, very close, by the way, I think. Let's see. Yeah, we are much closer. But holy shit! Wow, yeah, that's gonna take a while. Oh, oh shit. There's a, a, f a troll. Or the Yeti. Maybe it's the legendary Yeti. Where did he go? Where's the Yeti? It's okay. He will taste. Where is he? Holy shit, a frost troll. Uh, their weakness, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, fire, right? I'm not a mage, though. Oh shit. Yo, she's almost dead. Um, we, we need uh, fire, 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 fire. Holy shit. Ah! Um. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I need a little bit of magic. Boom! Ha! Holy shit, that was the toughest fight I had so far. This one actually felt more difficult than even the dragon almost. Ah, Lydia is still alive. And I thought I had to reload a save. Whew. This was close. It's safe. Did we read that one or we didn't? Ah, yeah. Man prevailed, shouting Anduin. Elduin, sorry. Elduin out of the world. Proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manifold. Wow, I really love actually this effect with the wind and the snow. What's that? Wolf? No goat. I think that's the one that the, the troll uh, was freaking running after. It survived. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Things interesting though, we haven't encountered a single cave or anything here, even though it's such a huge mountain. Any other mountains uh, have, have caves, right? The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jürgen Windcaller began his seven year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Next tablet. Jürgen Windcaller chose silence and returned, 
The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jürgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. It's basically the, the history of High Rovka now. Wow, let's have a view. Okay, there's some Draugr crypt. That's where they used to worship also the dragons, right? Like that what we learned there with like people that worship the dragons and stuff. So yeah. Dragon priests basically. Oh, that's Tiber Septim. For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name, Tiber Septim. Stripling then, was summoned to Rovka. They blessed and named him Dovakin. So Tiber Septim, aka Talos. He was also a dragonborn. Cool. This, this goat just came to us. There's one more. Emblem X, oh, so it's the last one. The voice is worship, follow the inner path, speak only in true need. Voice of the sky added, wait. Voice of the sky, what does this do? Animals will neither attack nor flee from you. Let's try that. This one is fleeing from me. Oh wait. Actually no. It's fleeing from Lydia I think. Okay, that's the chest where we have to place uh, the supplies in, right? Mission accomplished. Alright, we arrived at High Rovka. Let's get in. So, a dragonborn appears this moment in the turning of the age. Yes. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. You want me to shout at you? Boom. Okay. Push! <laughs> Was that enough? Dragonborn, it is you. <laughs> Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, nice to meet you, Angir. Why have you come here? I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? Yeah, that's for sure. Like, we, we learned earlier that Tiber Septim was also a Dragonborn. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed. I wonder if there's a tablet that name that has all names on it you of are all the of them. Only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Who are you, they and are what is this place? Beings, followers of the way of the voice. You stand in high Hrothgar slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path? Yes, I'm a disciplined warrior, okay? I can do this. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, teach me, master. In the language of dragons, thus your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word. Your shout will become progressively stronger. 
Master Ironheart will now teach you Roll, a second word in unrelenting force. Roll means balance in the dragon tongue. Balance. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharp. Fus Roll. Fus Roda. Why can I not learn it? Huh? I thought you only walk over it. Oh, now it worked. Lydia is shocked. She's looking at me like, what the heck just happened? But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Okay. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. No, I'm absorbing some power. No, I think I, I I have it automatically, right? Okay. Shout to strike the targets as they appear. Oh, it works. Okay, we don't need to equip anything again. Or let's say select anything again. Because I was like not sure if we have to use shouts again or like some, some extra powers or something. Like, well done. Again. Lydia, be careful. You're too close to this. I almost hit you. You have a death wish? No! You learn quickly. Once more. There we go. Are you satisfied now? Impressive. Oh. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Alright, let's do this. Let's go, Master Bori. You know what's interesting here at High Rothgar? It looks like some sort of castle where a, a naughty king would live, right? It's a very nice ancient building. Whirlwind. Where is it? Here. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Let's do that. Let's meditate on that. Okay, now uh, was, it was here, right? Shouts here. Okay, we have selected it. Um, our favorite is. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. X. Wait, he had two words. I have just one. He said Wulkrates or something. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay, I'll do my best. Then open it. 
Ha, that was too easy. Don't you have more difficult what challenges for me? Mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I've heard <laughs> the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I don't know how I do it. It just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Wurstengrad. Remain true to the. That way sounds like a lot of Draugr. <laughs> what does it mean to be Dragon? The horn of Jürgen Windcaller. also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that Dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Okay. Um... Tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkler. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. What is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Timirith at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often Is Kinnereth actually connected with the dragons? True use of the voice so did did the she take part in their the creation or not? True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward action. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. I will try to follow the way of the that voice. Is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny yeah, That gets confusing. Akatosh and Kinnereth, they have to both to do with the dragon Why born else shouts. Why Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Oh, and Jürgen Wundkoller, I will know already from the tablet, so he is he's, uh, the leader basically Wind. of them. The founder of this, this place. But yeah guys, that's it for today's episode. Now we know a new, or let's say an upgraded shout as well. So two new shouts, that's cool. And next time we are going to retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller from a Draugr crypt. This will be exciting. And what is this guy doing behind me? He's like meditating at the campfire there. Interesting. And yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. There will be more Let's Play Skyrim episodes coming soon. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys next time.